Hi everyone, welcome to this month's video from the UCF AAC lab in conjunction with the FAST Center. We'll be talking about assistive technology training that's all about switches. The Florida Alliance for Assistive Services and Technologies has regional demonstration centers which provide services to increase awareness, access, and acquisition of assistive technology for all Floridians. Assistive technology can be defined as any item, piece of equipment, or product system, whether acquired commercially, off the shelf, modified, or customized, that is used to increase, maintain, or improve functional capabilities of a child with a disability through Public Law 101 to 476. There is a wide range of AT device categories, such as activities of daily living, adaptive toys and games, communication, computer access, environmental access, mobility, and seating and positioning. At the Atlantic Regional Demonstration Center, we serve Orange, Seminole, Volusia, and Brevard counties. We provide trainings, demonstrations, information, and device loans. Below you can see our address and our contact information. This will also be listed in the information box below and at the end of our presentation. The objective for today's presentation is to discuss switches for use in community life to promote environmental engagement and independence. Some questions we hope to answer in this presentation are, what are switches? Why are there so many kinds and why are they useful? Who uses switches in their daily lives and who can help choose the most appropriate one? How are switches used and how could someone trial or purchase one? What are switches? A switch is a type of access device that interacts with toys or devices with a press or with proximity. Modified to an individual's needs, these devices can be used during everyday living. They are beneficial for learning, playing, communicating, and other activities. Why do people use switches? Switches can give individuals access to many devices that can be used for communication or completing activities of daily living. By gaining more control over their environments, these individuals are able to transition to independence in more areas of their lives. Who uses switches? Children and adults with motor limitations can still use technology through special switches. These disability adapted switches can be used to operate home appliances, fixtures, toys, learning devices, and different types of electronic gadgets. Let's talk about some different categories of switches, starting with voice output. These switches are considered customizable as they allow for recording of audio messages that vary in length. Some can even record multiple messages and quick repeated activation of the button can be used to sort through a message bank. Further customization includes removable clear lids so that a picture, symbol, or other visual stimuli can be applied for, to the button for communication context. They can also be attached to toys or other devices, and many can be mounted on mobility equipment or other services. Some switches include vibrations, sounds, and lights to encourage interactions. These switches can be used to teach cause and effect, as well as encourage exploration of the environment. This introduces the idea that an action, in this case interacting with the switch, causes an event to happen. This can build the foundation for switch use to manipulate the environment for more complex purposes such as communication or operation of other devices, hence why they could be considered introductory switches. Some switch options that can be used as standalone toys or connect to other devices are the Gushi switch, the Kush switch, and the Bright switch, all of which have music, vibrations, and flashing lights along with interesting sensory factors that encourage engagement. Activation switches are those that are used to activate a function of or interact with another device in an alternative way. For example, if someone is unable to hold a traditional TV remote due to physical mobility differences, they may be able to use a switch such as these to scan through the channels. There are a wide variety of activation switches for individuals with different movement needs. Some people may not be able to generate large amounts of force, for this purpose, the micro switch only requires 10 milligrams of pressure to be activated. For individuals whose movements may not be precise or consistent, a switch like the candy corn 
offers a large activation area and does not require direct pressure or even contact as it works by cl close proximity. For individuals whose most consistent movements may be in their head, face, or other sensitive area, a pillow switch may be appropriate. All of these switches have the ability to be mounted on various surfaces for ease of access. For individuals with limited range of motion or difficulty generating large amounts of force or pressure, switches such as the NeuroNode or Twitch switch might be an option. They both use advanced technology to track electrical impulses that trigger the activation of a function on another device, such as a communication device. Uh, this can be used for scanning, as is seen in the NeuroNode picture. This presentation was only able to cover a handful of the switches that are on the market, but we hope it provides an idea of how useful and customizable switch use can be. Links to all of the switches noted in this presentation will be listed on the final reference slide or in the video description below. If you believe that you or a loved one may benefit from switches, you can contact our state office or your regional demonstration center to find out more about trialing or demoing a switch. Please note that for some devices such as the Twitch switch or NeuroNode, it is recommended to consult with an assistive technology professional before using. A clinical evaluation may be helpful or necessary to determine the best access option. This presentation has been provided by the team at the Atlantic Regional Demonstration Center of FAST, located on the University of Central Florida campus in Orlando, Florida. Please feel free to connect with us. We would love to hear from you and assist with any demonstrations, information, training, or service connections that you may need. You can follow us on Instagram at UCFAAC Lab.